All right, guys, welcome to twitch.tv slash Simply Rocco Tuesday night talk show, guys. And whoever was watching on the preview, please go to twitch.tv slash Simply Rocco and you can watch the show there. Uh, we're just going to chill out for a little bit. Um, let's get some music also going here, guys, just so we can have it running because it's going to be a little boring without any music until we have some people who want to join. If you guys want to join the stream, let me know as well. Uh, we can, you know, talk, uh, do like a video chat, whatever. It's up to you guys. Uh, basically, this is the first night I'm going to be doing this. We're going to be just doing this as a, you know, just a whatever, chill time. Talk about whatever the hell you want. Do whatever you want. Just don't be like uh, really nasty and stuff like that. So, you know what I mean, guys. You know what I mean. Oh, why do I hell have to log back into Spotify to get my music going? What the freak? Come on, man. Ah, uh, see, nothing ever works right here. Nothing ever works right here, guys. Just bear with me. I gotta log back into Spotify because Spotify doesn't like me for some reason. I don't know. I think I think my uh, browser just reset a lot of stuff. So uh, hopefully everybody's doing good tonight. Uh, of course, it's not the right password. Jesus. Uh, there we go. There we go. All right, guys, so whoever's watching the preview, come on over. Um, let's see if the music's working. Before I go, let me know if you guys can. Oh, you know what? I don't know if you guys can hear the music. I don't think you guys can, to be honest. I'm going to have to do this a different way. I just realized, yeah, we can't do it like this. Thanks for watching. All right, Nick, there we go. Nick is there on. There we go. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for following, Nick. Appreciate it. Awesome, dude. I should be having my alerts, but for some reason, it's just not showing up now. It's all good, man. It's all good. All right, guys. I'm going to end the stream on the you know the preview streams. Guys, head on over to twitch.tv slash Simply Rocco, and then we'll get it going. Uh, give me one second. Let me just stop the uh, other streams here. Guys, don't forget, twitch.tv slash Simply Rocco. I'll be waiting for you here. We're going to discuss anything you want, what's going on in the world with the COOF, you know, personal life, crypto, whatever you want, guys want to talk about. So let's do it, guys. All right, let's shut off the uh, previous dreams. All right, and we should be left over with, um, there we go, we should be left over with the uh, Twitch stream, guys. So welcome, guys. Welcome, everybody. Uh, so we're just going to be doing this for tonight. I don't know if we can do, uh, shit, I, I really should have thought out the music part, but damn, of course I, I screwed that up. I don't want to, I don't want to mess up the stream as it is already. So guys, if you guys want to talk about anything, um, I was just like looking at some stuff that was happening today. Um, dude, like on my Facebook feed, like what the hell is going on? To be honest, like this is some just like really stupid shit that's going on. Right, like I'm looking at my Facebook. I want to check out something here if we can uh, share. Let's see. I, 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 I'm a little like really perturbed by like how the how the this cancel culture is going down right now. It's just ridiculous. Of course, my Facebook's not like. Come on, Facebook. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Yeah, when I really need it, it doesn't want to freaking load up. Of course not. Of course not. All right, I, I, it was it was it was something I shared on my on my Facebook too. It was this freaking teacher talking. This white this white teacher con talking about white privilege, talking about damn band aids. I'm like, what's going on? She's talking about how the band aids are. Are, are 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 white and her kids are are of color i was like yo, yo are you serious like seriously like like what the hell's wrong with you let me see if i can find it i think i i think i know where to get it from it's like i can't believe that that this is like going on oh here we go i found it i definitely found it I'm not sure if I can share. I'm going to try to share it, by the way. Let's share thumbnails, picture in picture, half screen. 
uh, if I guess, add a video file. It's, I'm still trying to get the hang of this, so bear with me, guys. Cinema, picture in picture, half screen, uh, cover. Wow. Yeah, this is not working out the way I wanted it. Holy shit. Why? Why? Damn, I cannot share anything. Hey, what's up? What's up, Christian? What's going on, man? Hopefully everything is going good. Hopefully everything is cool. I hope you're doing good, man. I hope everything is awesome. Let me see if I can uh, get this working here. I want to. I want to make this. A, a, you're cool, bro. Good, good, good. I'm glad you can join me on Twitch, man. I'm just. I'm just like. Uh, you know, this is gonna be the first time doing this tonight, so I don't know how this is gonna be. Uh, you know how how well this is gonna go. This format. But I want to try doing this. Uh, this is like the first time I'm doing it on Twitch. I used to do this stuff like on uh, Pocket Live years ago when I started doing it. So, you know, I can go in here. I can you know, put some comments from people if I wanted to. Uh, although I didn't think about how I was going to do the music in the background. So, yeah, that – Christ. So that that's, that's crazy, man. Oh, shit. You just subscribed, Nick. What the freak? Oh, what is up? There you go. Damn. Thank you for the subscription, man. Appreciate it. Holy shit. Wow, dude. That was unexpected, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Yo. Yo, we got to play Valheim. I am so, like, so, like, frustrated with that game, man. Just I'm just chilling on your Twitch. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Much love, bro. We'll definitely jump on Valheim soon. Yeah. Like I said, tomorrow, <laughs> I think tomorrow is going to be my rest night from streaming. I'll be back on Thursday. Uh, and Thursday we'll do some more Valheim for sure because I'm actually starting to get the hang of building stuff now. What kind of game are you playing? Well, I'm not playing – tonight I'm not playing any games. Tonight tonight is like a talk show night. So if, if, if there's something you want to talk about or if other people want to talk about, they can join in. I can send them a link so they can actually join in the stream. And we can talk. So that, that would actually be cool if we could talk to each other. So that would be awesome. But, yeah, so, so I'm not even sure, like, if people are actually on besides you two guys. I, I think it's just you right now because I haven't really – let's close that up. I haven't really looked at the uh, stream for Twitch. It's, it's, it's a little confusing on how I'm doing it right now. It's it's not a normal, it's not like a normal stream. I'm not using OBS. I'm using, I'm using Restream, but I'm using the, I'm using the browser. And I'm using the browser to stream into OBS, which is like really weird. Oh, now like, I hear myself. All right, I'm gonna mute the site because I think I hear myself. I definitely hear myself. Sometimes I don't play. I'm just hanging out content yeah no that's 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 exactly that's exactly what i'm doing right now is i'm trying to do some different stuff for everybody like not every day can be like just uh what do you call it playing games and stuff like that is sometimes you got to do something different you know what i mean sometimes it's got to be a little different for people you know change it up shit like that i'm just trying to figure out how the hell do i share my screen because i know there's a way to do it I just can't remember how to – oh, share screen. Here we go. Share screen. Automatically add share screen to stream. No, we don't want to automatically share. Start screen sharing. Then we'll share the audio. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing right now. So there we go. You can actually see right now what I'm doing. There we go. You see if you can see like right that, but just like that. So I was going to talk about this right here. To special order them they're okay two white white this is this is different. what i was talking about this this is what what this is ridiculous i saw this this post white on tiktok privilege what is this think about it whose flesh tone is this oh god oh I god brown band-aids in my classroom i had to special order them they're twice as much as these and they're hard oh to find. my god are you and they're freaking kidding stock but when I hand a brown child 
a white band-aid oh my I'm god literally adding insult to injury <sighs> and i refuse to do that in my classroom are you serious are you freaking serious shut the hell up i mean really come on now i mean like what, what? i i don't i i, I don't understand that i don't I, i'm just getting iron now oh yeah 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 <laughs> Yo, people, people are way too bored with their lives. Yes, this is true, man. Yo, I, I can't, I can't believe, like, like. First of all, she's a white woman. So, second of all, yo, you, you ugly. <laughs> they need to take up wood carving or something, or she, something time consuming. I no, I th no, that's the problem. I think she, she, she has too much time on her hands, and of course, tick. TikTok is the only place that she can vent her uh, SJW-ness there. I mean, it's just ridiculous, man. Come on, man. That's just, just like, I, I, I can't believe, I cannot believe that I saw that. It's like, how are you going to, you're going to bitch about Band-Aids? Like, really? Really? I I I I, I, I don't know. It, it just blows my mind. It, it's it's happening like all over the place, like with cancel culture. Um, like legit YouTubers are 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 what do you call it? They're getting, they're getting freaking, they're getting freaking. Uh, people are trying to cancel them because they have their own opinions. I don't know if you guys ever heard of the quartering, um, geeks and gamers, uh, but. They're being accused of being like radical right wing YouTube channels, which in, 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 in actuality, no, they're not. They're actually just, you know, giving their opinion. Like they were saying how bad the, the new star, the last Star Wars was and that it was a piece of shit. And they're right. I didn't even bother watching it because the last two Star Wars movies were garbage. I mean, I saw the second to the last one with Luke Skywalker looking like an old hobbit and drinking the green titty milk from that monster or whatever the hell it was i mean what what the i don't even know what the hell that was about but holy crap yeah that's just like that was i don't even know what to make of that to be honest i i, I did not even know what to make of that but yeah and now and so they got they were getting criticized and and all the liberals and sjw's they were trying to get them canceled and booted off youtube and you got to understand like some people for youtube and streaming and, and these kind of channels for them this is their living this is their how they make money this is how they support themselves this is how they support their family and you're going after somebody that has a different opinion from you i mean this is what our country is about we're, we're, we're it, it should be okay to have a different opinion Versus, this is what everybody has free should have free speech, and and they're just they were just targeted because they didn't like the last two Star Wars. The last two Star Wars were garbage. Not to mention um, Disney. What Disney was doing, Disney is one of the most racist companies out there. I I I, I you know, and I canceled Disney Plus for that whole Gina Carano. That was like the whole. That was like the final nail in the coffin for me. Um, Gina Carano getting fired from the Mandalorian, but uh, a lot of people don't realize how racist Disney is. I mean, they are so up, so far up China's ass. It's not even. Well, I'm not going to say China. I'm going to say the, the communist government of China, because I don't have anything. I don't have. First of all, I'm going to say I don't have anything against uh, Chinese people, Asian people, nothing like that. Uh, just so just let's make that clear right now so what was going on i don't know like a lot of people don't realize oh yeah um they had mulan being filmed about 30 miles away from these concentration camps that they were sticking all the muslim uyghurs in uh, I, I probably didn't even say that right so and people just that just seemed to be ignored number one number two there you know there's there there's there's saying all this stuff oh yeah we're against um asian hate and stuff like that but meanwhile you are supporting a government that is oppressing their own people that's number two then you're say you say you're for equality you're for you're you're not 
you know, the, you're for diversity. But meanwhile, when your Star Wars posters comes out and you shrink down the African American actor in there in the Star Wars movies that you can barely see him. Yeah, I have a problem with that. And a lot of people should have a problem with that, too. They shrunk him down just for the poster in China because a lot of people don't realize that China that China is pretty racist. I mean, they really are. I mean, it, it, it's not just my opinion. You can actually do a lot of uh, research on this. Um, yeah, that's... What's up, Judoi? What's up? Long time, man. What is up? How's it going? There's Judoi, guys. If you haven't followed Judoi already on Twitch, please uh, follow him. He's a cool guy. Love him. Great man. I haven't seen. I've seen you. You've been streaming here and there. I haven't really been able to check out your stream in a while. But yeah, that that's my that's my take on on, on Disney and how they uh, what they've done and how they do things. I, I just like I. I <sighs> People are, are, aren't realizing what's what what happens with these companies, and they're just bending to knee, the knee. It's and if you have different opinions of the Hollywood elite and what it, you're getting typecast, you're getting banned, blacklisted, whatever, and, and it sucks. It really does. And the same things happening on TwitTwat, aka Twitter. I cannot stand being on Twitter. The only reason why I'm on Twitter at this point is to promote my streaming channels, my YouTube, my uh, Twitch, the Facebook page, everything. That's, that's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing that, it, because Hey, that's, that's the way it's gotta be. Jadoy, is there anything you want to talk about? Do you wanna, gonna, gonna jo- join? No, I'm not. No, I, no, Nick, you, you know, you know, damn well. I, I wasn't a fan of him either. I wasn't a fan. Of, listen, I, I, Listen, I, I I can't stand both sides. You, you you know you know my my stance on that already. I, I I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a Trump supporter. I sure as hell wasn't a Biden supporter. No, 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 no. Uh, I mean, I think we went from immature immature child man child to uh, neither can I. But I definitely can't support. No, I can't either. I mean, I no, I I gotta agree with you on that. I can't. I can't. I, I don't like what's happening. Like every uh, everybody's getting these fourteen hundred dollar checks, six hundred dollar checks, whatever. Um, it's just in the long run, it's just going to bury everything uh, for our economy, for <laughs> for this country. But in a, in a good way, uh, that's actually making way for cryptocurrency, which I, I I'm for. I'm definitely for. If you guys have been following me. On what I've been talking about for cryptocurrency, that's something I've always been supported. Uh, Bitcoin, I'm happy about how Bitcoin's going. Matter of fact, we'll see how much Bitcoin is doing right now because last I saw, it was almost at sixty thousand again. Let's see, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Well, I, uh, I'll make it. I'll make it easy for for the Filipinos. Right now, uh, according to Coin Gecko, Bitcoin is worth. Each Bitcoin is two million eight hundred and sixty-one and one forty pesos each Bitcoin. Now, if we go to dollar dollar bill, y'all, let's see. Bitcoin in U.S. dollar. That's a lot. That's a lot for like that. That's something that can really help out the average person that's not doing too well. Uh, Bitcoin price. Fifty nine thousand twelve dollars and ninety four cents, guys. It's so close to hitting sixty thousand again, and I hope it does. I really, really hope it does because I can't. That's a lot of money. I should go for Bitcoin. Honestly, Bitcoin. Kick myself for not buying more when I dropped it again this year. Yeah, you should never have dropped it. Honestly, guys, when you're buying Bitcoin, when you're buying cryptocurrency, the key really is is to buy. Uh, it's called a dollar dollar cost average i think it's called and basically whether it's up or down when, like when you get paid buy like maybe 20 to 50 dollars worth each paycheck whatever you can afford but keep doing it doesn't matter if you're up or down up or down because eventually eventually it's going to keep on going up i mean christian yeah you could buy now 
that's you could definitely buy now uh so uh, i mean any and you could buy at any time just keep in mind don't flip out don't flip out when when it does because it could drop too if you buy it at a high price and it drops down don't flip out don't go don't get crazy and sell it because because then you'll just end up losing your money the key is just to hold on to it and uh eventually it'll grow i mean last week it dropped down to almost 52,000 53,000 last weekend and now it's back up to okay now it went down to 58,956 but i mean it's it's fluctuating it's it's a really volatile it's a really volatile thing and that's just not bitcoin it's also ethereum um there's other stable coins and i need some of the drink here uh, is there a maturity like stocks no no not at all it's not a maturity it's 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 a, it's 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 a currency it's an uh, how, how can i actually put this it, it's a currency that was um electronic currency I'm trying to put this as a really simple as possible it's definitely not stocks don't think of it as a security the the reason why there's so much negativity and people are trying to regulate it is because they're trying to make it look like it's um uh securities here in the u.s and and that's not the case it's a decentralized currency that no one has control over of that's why it's so volatile that's why it's so uh it could be worth a lot it could be worth less it, it, it can go back and forth it can go up and down so right now it's it's still it's even though it's over 10 years old it could it's still in its infancy you know compared to the u.s dollar or the Philippine peso, like example, the the U.S. dollar, U.S. dollar is not backed by shit. Okay, the U.S. dollar is not backed by anything but the faith and credit of the United States. And in reality, we don't have, we don't have any freaking credit. We we freaking they print they print that like to- exactly they print it if they print it like toilet paper, they print dollars like toilet paper and it's not just us a lot of countries are doing it i don't know if the philippines is doing it like that also i don't know um but from what i've heard i I was talking to another streamer he said he he has a lot of friends who's actually they've they've made a lot of money off of buying and trading on bitcoin which is great for i i I think a lot of filipinos would, would pull themselves out of a lot of hard situations but a lot of people just they're not educated i've been trying to get um another friend of mine on here to talk to him about um crypto trying to to, to educate you know that we could do like an interview and educate people so he can explain a little bit better than i could i mean i understand it but i'm not really good at explaining it that's my problem and a lot of people have been asking me oh what do i do how do i buy it this and that it's like i can't really say too much because number one how much if I, how much I invest in Bitcoin? It, so you said that question is like that. You can invest whatever you want. You can go to coins.ph and buy whatever you want, um, or you can go to different ex- online exchanges and buy uh, whatever. It depends on which exchanges are going to take uh, Filipino citizens. I know Coins.ph is like a big one there, but their fees are high. So I mean, you can buy a thousand pesos worth worth of Bitcoin and just let it sit there and it'll grow. Uh, PayPal in the U.S. recently, I think about two months ago, they opened up, they bought about $1.5 billion or $3 billion worth of Bitcoin. And you can buy Bitcoin through them. Now, the bad thing about buying Bitcoin through PayPal or Robinhood or, or one of these uh, places like that is that you don't actually own the Bitcoin. They're just your, the custodian, which is not good. You can't say, oh, I want to send that Bitcoin from my Robinhood account to uh, my personal cold storage wallet. You're not allowed, you can't do it because you don't actually own the Bitcoin. They're holding the Bitcoin for you. Um, the good thing, like I, I bought a little bit in PayPal just to see what it would do. So I bought, here's a per- perfect example. I Just to test out the experiment, I bought $15 worth of Bitcoin, $15 worth of Ethereum. Right now, in two months, it went from $30 to $80. 
which is insane. You're not going to find any bank account that's going to give you that much of a return. I don't think you'll find any stocks unless it's like a crazy, <coughs> crazy thing that's out there, like a crazy stock. But you, it, it's just like anything else. You you have to be willing to take a risk. You got to be willing to take a risk. Um, yeah, and it's got it's got to be money that you're willing to say, hey, if I lose it, I lose it. If I don't, great. It's it's I'm getting a huge return. It's got to be a little bit like extra money you have on the side, especially when you're in a situation that you're not really doing too well, or or you don't have a job or something like that. You gotta you gotta really think it through and how you're gonna work it out. I mean, that's my best advice. I mean, I don't want to get too much into it because it's just a, it's just a, it gets a little too, too much into like, I, I'm really not supposed to say too much because I'm not licensed to say anything, stuff like that. So Dodge, uh, Dodge, Dogecoin jumped to a hundred out. It's not going to, I don't listen. I have no faith. I have no faith in Doge. I, 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 for some reason, a Dogecoin, I, 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 I didn't even touch it. I didn't even touch it. It went up to about eight cents. Now it's back to I think five cents, five and a half cents. It, it went down below five cents a couple of times. I don't see Doge being something mainstream. And like I said, what I'm saying right now is all my opinion. Nothing nothing uh set in stone uh, i i'm not a professional or anything like that I don't just you know this is this is my opinion dogecoin five okay it's at five five and a half cents exactly exactly in the last hour it, it's just it went it dipped down a little bit and now it's back up to five and a half cents so i, I don't see it going too far up again unless maybe uh what's his face what the hell is this face? The Tesla dude. Why can't I? Why can't I freaking? Why can't I freaking have this guy's head? Because uh, he's got a weird name. God, help me out here, guys. Elon, fucking shit. Yeah, Elon Musk. How can I forget his name? Unless Elon put, put puts out a tweet again. Jesus Christ. That'd be nice. That that then then people like you know start buying. Oh my God, he's saying it. He's talking about it. He's saying his how good it is. See, those are the sheep that are just like they'll jump on anything that's being said by Elon or whatever, and they just won't realize anything. You know, they're, they're, those are the people that aren't really into it for future. Um. Oh, you signed up at Coins PH. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um. Yeah. Be careful posting links because. My Streamlabs, uh, it kind of uh, doesn't like that unless I allow it, and because I because I have a lot of people who try to who try to uh, post links for things they're not supposed to. But I, I see the comment though. You sign up for Coins PH, yeah. So you know, check it out. I mean, it's not the best exchange. No, it's not your fault. Don't worry about it. It's not your fault. It's not like like I said. It's not the best exchange. But unfortunately for for people in the Philippines, there's not too many options. Um, I don't think you guys can see back here. Let me see if I can, like, right back here. Let me just, so this right here is my Ethereum miner machine right here. And I have a RTX 2060 doing my Ethereum mining. Which is not too much of a return, but it's better than nothing. So it's it's not bad. You know what? I should turn off this these headphones too because I'm not using them right now. Turn off that light. Hey, we got light lighted headphones all over the place, man. Look at that. That's like a strip club. I'm not gonna strip for you guys though. Forget it. Ain't happening, guys. I do enough freaking dancing. I've done enough dancing on my streams. I, I think it's turned away a lot of people. Like when I cosplayed as the Witcher, and that was pretty freaky. I don't know if I'll ever do that again. But yeah, I don't know. It's like, I, I mean, it hasn't been too much of a return, but it's something. It's better than nothing. It's better than like, like not doing anything at all. 
my my suggestion is to, is if you have the equipment, if you can get it into the equipment, is to start. We have rigs for, for Ethereum. That's good. That's good. Going to start them. Going to start them back up now. Yeah, I actually screwed up too because I had two older um, graphics cards, and this thing shut down for some reason. I was mining Ethereum last week, last year, and I thought the the rig broke down. And it turns out, I didn't realize there was actually a power button on the thing because it's an open frame, and I was hitting the the power button. And I was like, "Holy shit!" I think the the power supply is out. Me being an IT certified, A plus certified tech, I should have realized that, but no, I didn't realize it. I thought that I thought the the power supply went dead, and that's a four hundred dollar power supply. I was like, "Oh crap! I don't want to buy another one." But I realized, okay, it was the power button, and then I, sw- and I, I had a 2060 laying, laying around, and it was supposed to go to somebody else, and I, I, I bought it off of them for a decent price, and I said, you know what, let me use this graphics card, and you know, we'll see how it is. This, this month is ending. I mine into a pool, so I don't, I don't mine directly into my stuff. I mine into a pool. So I'll get a cut of like the whole mining pool, which is actually better to do. It's better to do that. You actually get a little bit more of a return if you're mining into a pool. So, ah, oh, man. So, yeah, that's definitely something. I got to lay off this shit. I'm not even supposed to be drinking this. Freaking have... 30% liver function. I'm still eating fast food. My graphics card is GTX 1660. Super good if I engage on Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin, no. Ethereum, yes. To mine Bitcoin on um, consumer products is not profitable anymore because it's so hard now. It's, it's, it's getting close to the limit. You're better off uh, doing Ethereum for now, but that's that's another thing. Ethereum mining is going to be severely affected in a couple of months too. They're going to be changing to proof of stake instead of proof of work, so that's going to kind of screw things up too. So I don't know how that's going to work out in June. So when that changes, I got to see how I'm going to work that out too. So it might be better off to just buy straight into it and let it grow. Or dip, whatever. Let's, it's hard to say. It's hard to say right now. Oh, man, I got to go to the bathroom. Are you serious? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> all this damn soda I drank. I can't believe it. Guys, how does how does the camera look, by the way? This is, since I'm doing this the first time like this, um, what do you call it? Like this format? Uh, it's, it's really weird on how I'm doing it. I'm still using OBS, but I'm kind of feeding... OBS the 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 website, so I know it's not as clear on the actual stream, but I I, I guess it looks okay. I was looking at it on Facebook; it looks pretty cool and everything. So, dude, dude, I don't know. Nick, you're still in Staten Island, right? You're still in Staten Island. We're here with me. I, I gotta get your opinion on how the how 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 this crap is here in in New York, man. Honestly, it, it Richmond Town, yeah. I'm over here in Dungan Hills, so I'm not I'm not far from you. I'm not far I'm not far from you at all. But yo, know, everybody's talking about how like the like the coof is getting worse again, and people are getting sick again. I since we're in the same area, what what's your opinion, honestly? on how things are as far as people getting sick again because i went out i went today to just to walk to my chiropractor is right on the corner so i didn't really walk far but yo it looks like everybody's out like normal freaking rush hour on on richmond road you would think a lot of people are still staying home whatever but it looks like it's back to normal man like people are out people are doing stuff I don't know. It seems like there's no. Yeah, it. it and yeah, honestly, I think it should be already. I think I. I don't know about these variants that they're talking about. They're. They're. 
I understand being cautious. I, I get it. Honestly, for me, if I walk outside, I'll have the mask down here. If I walk inside a building, I'll put the mask up inside. Just, just as for common courtesy. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I go back outside, not walking around people, take it down. But I'll leave it on my chin just in case, you know, I will walk by some freaking SJW. Hey, wear your mask. I'll be like, fuck you, I'm outside. Get a, you, you, you need to get away from me. Go. Had it in December, just another flu. That's my opinion. Wife doesn't agree, but also doesn't disagree. Yeah, I mean, some people, you know, some people aren't going to get too sick from it. Other people are. Thank God I haven't gotten anything because 99% of the time I'm stuck in this place. I, I barely left for anything because I've been working from home since for over a year now. I cannot believe that I've been in this place for over a year. And it's really did a number done a number on my health. Like I've had two surgeries already, two freaking surgeries. One for my liver, uh, just just because I think part of it is just I'm not moving around. I'm not exercising. I'm not doing anything. So I was like, I was out before when going to work, getting on the bus, going on the on the subway, dodging homeless people, whatever. I mean, you know how it was when we were working together, going out to the freaking city. And then now you're just sitting at home working, sitting on your ass on, on the phone. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm thankful to ha still have a job, but I think it's done worse for me, for my health. You know, I had liver, I had surgery on my, uh, I had my gallbladder pulled. I, I, you love working from home. I, you know what? I got mixed feelings about it, man. Sometimes it's like, oh yeah, I'm, you know, I'm working from home. I hate looking at people anyways. But then again, it's like, I can't stand being cooped up in here. You know, it, it's, it's a pain in the ass. You're cooped up in here. And, and then it's just like, yeah, it's just like, it's easy saving working from home though. Um, you know what? It, it kind of is Jadoy. If you're not ordering delivery every day, like I was, and that's what I was doing for a long time. And I realized, you know what? Instead of ordering delivery, f food delivery, let me order groceries. I put a headset on and walk around while I'm in, on the phone. Yeah, see, I don't have much space to do that in here. I have too much, I have too much shit. By the way, guys, if there's any ladies are, who are watching, ladies, if you ever hook up with somebody who works in IT, be warned. Guys who work in IT tend to hoard a lot of old computer shit <laughs> all right a lot of old computer shit that's laying around and uh, i've got so much stuff it's not it's not even funny i mean i don't know what i'm gonna do with this i have like i have like three of these that are still in the package why i have three of them i don't know um the old graphics cards from my from before that i was using which actually, like, I just have them sitting here like nothing. Yeah, I, I, I know. You still have that, huh? Is that still working for you? Think, thinking of doing a dedicated Valheim server. I never, uh, hold on, hold on. I still have a Dell T5500 T from back in the days. Yeah, I know about that. And never touch their stuff. What do you mean to never touch their stuff, Judoy? Not sure what you mean by that. Thinking about doing a Valheim dedicated server. Um, Jesus Christ, was it 72 gigs? Holy crap. I don't even remember, like, when we used to do those things, I didn't think we jacked them up that high. 72 gigs. Holy shit. Um, the Valheim server? I don't know. If I really... I saw that like this was this one shock bite. They do uh, Minecraft servers, and now they they're advertising that they are doing Valheim servers. I I don't know. Nine sticks of eight gigs. Jesus. I don't remember, like. It's been so long since I've seen those machines. Nine sticks of eight gigabytes each. That's just insane. That's freaking insane. I don't know if I could actually do that again. To be honest, like like. Yo, and, and guess who's trying to call, who's been calling me 
to go back over there. They, they, I've been getting calls to go back to to, to D Mac, and I was like, uh, yeah, no. I was like, nah, never. I'll never go back to that place. That place is, dude. They, they, they. I was making decent. Everybody's gone. Yeah, I know. Everybody's gone. I know. I know that. But uh, I got screwed over. I don't know if you. This was after you left. I got screwed over when uh, they sent me to work in Jersey City. It is a good learning curve, but when they start, when they really got on me about, oh yeah, you get paid per ticket, and you're not getting paid for for the hours that you work. I was like, holy shit. It was fine when I was working in Manhattan, but when I got moved to Jersey City, oh, no, 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 man. I lost a lot of money there. Like, I was working eight-hour days and getting paid for sometimes three because I didn't have enough tickets. And I was like, Phew. And then finally when the contract was over, it was like, this is just experience on my on my resume. Yeah, uh, That's what sucks about being a contractor. Sometimes when you, well, you, you got to be careful on how you find these contracting jobs. It's like if they're not paying you by the hour directly, and this is the only place that I've seen that they pay you by the ticket. And it's like, if I, if you're getting a lot of tickets, okay, fine. But yeah, no, then they try to cut down the time of how, how much the ticket should be and everything. It's like, you're just cutting costs and you're making people stay there for eight hours Half the time not doing anything. And then you get yelled at for not doing anything. Explain that to me. I, I don't even know why I stayed as long as I did, to be honest. The contracting jobs, I'm, I'm kind of glad I'm out of that. God forbid if I have to go back into that, I have to be very careful on what I pick. Because I'm at the point now that it's, I can't, I'm not just going to pick up anything. So, ooh, 58,939, oh, wow, man. Bitcoin is, it's, it's almost at that tip of 60,000 again. It's almost at that tip, guys. Yeah, but uh, freaking poison is wicked. Oh, I haven't even been at that point. Yo, I tried, fi- I, I tried fighting skeletons. I beat one and then I got jumped by like three more. I was like, nah, I, I can't do that again. <laughs> I got killed so quick. My equipment is like so crap. It's just so crap. Guys, by the way, if you haven't already, let me just type in my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash simply Rocco. We're going to actually upload this uh, stream on there after this, uh, you know, tomorrow. Cause I gotta wait 24 hours. Can hook you up with some things. Yeah, I'll definitely like tomorrow. If I, I'm not gonna be playing or streaming or anything, but is it multiplayer on Valheim? It can be. Yes, it can be multiplayer on Valheim. Like if I if I start up Valheim, I have to start up a public game and set up you know set it up as a public game, and people can can join. You know, I have to put give them the password and everything. But it is possible. Yes, it is possible to do it. Absolutely. And then uh, I kind of lost my... Okay, so YouTube.com. And then also I have another YouTube channel. This is where all the gaming streams are going to be uploaded. I'll let you know about the hosted server. Yeah, I'm wanting... Love to play with you, bro. But <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely, man. I, I mean, I think it's still Valheim is still twenty dollars retail. I kind of, I, I kind of wish it would, it would actually be a little lower. I, I think it's worth more like a fourteen, fifteen dollar game. I don't think it's worth twenty bucks yet. I, I think there's still a lot of work they need to do on that game. Yeah, de- definitely. Let me know how you're gonna set that up. My, my, my concern about setting up a, a, a server for like Valheim or Minecraft. Is that I don't really want to pay to. I really don't want to pay to like hide my IP address. It's just a pain in the ass. All right, we've been on for oh my god, not even an hour, dude. Uh, 
So that 5500 is still working for you, huh? I, I, I'm I'm sorry, I never got a handle. I, I never got one of those myself, but it is what it is. Yeah, actually, you know, it's like if you if you want to start playing it, definitely it's it's actually not a bad uh, it's not a bad game, Valheim. I mean, it, for me, honestly, it's it, it's better to play with friends. It's better to play with people. It, it, than to play it by yourself because I was playing it by myself yesterday and it's like 9 US I was screenshot at you I don't know why games in the US are so everything else everything else is more expensive like these headphones like these headphones they probably go for like $20 more than that and if you look at like Lazada or Shopee they're like half the price and the reason why they're half the price is because they're all coming from China, and we're getting screwed on. We're we're actually get paying more in taxes and and shipping the stuff here. So that's why the, the these gaming headphones are always more expensive here, like through Amazon and stuff. If you go over there, I, I was comparing the prices between Amazon and Lazada, and the same headphones that I would buy here or look at here, are like half the price over there. Get on! I can't get on, dude. I can't get on. I can't get on right like right now I like ah, like it's already ten o'clock. I'm 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 gonna actually be ending soon because I, I gotta work later in the morning. But what do you guys think of the, the this whole talk show thing? Talking for a little bit, you think that's all right? Is a is a cool thing? All right, I'm trying to see. It's yeah, it's definitely like freezing up. Yeah, it, it's it's more expensive here. It's definitely more expensive. Like I can go on Amazon right now. I uh, some of those Sadie headphones. I I saw a, a, a pair of headphones from Sadie that are like fifty bucks on Amazon, and then I looked at it on Lazada. They were like twenty dollars. I was like, what? I'm like you got to be kidding me! All right, let me see. I start doing this interface. All right, I don't want to do it. I'll do it windowed because. All right, I think we are going to jump into the. Uh... I hate those Filipino asking for, pala. I'm not sure what that means though. I'm not sure what that means. All right. Pasa Lubong. I hate that. I'm not, I'm not sure what that means, though. I had to move the chat over to this side so I can see what's going on on my... Okay, so I am... Oh, person who stuffs or asks for a person, you know? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, believe me. Uh, I got stories about that, man. Mm -hmm. 